Yeah, it definitely seems like the skies are already active. All right, thanks, Victor. Well, breaking overnight, a near total ban on abortions after roughly six weeks of pregnancies passed through both chambers of the Iowa State Legislature. Governor Kim Reynolds has already announced she plans to sign the bill into law on Friday. It's our top story this Wednesday morning. The bill passed just after 11 p.m. last night. It is essentially the same law Iowa lawmakers approved back in 2018. The measure bans most abortions once fetal cardiac activity can be detected, usually around six weeks of pregnancy. The bill's limited exceptions include cases of rape, incest, when a fetus has an abnormal, an abnormality that is, quote, incompatible with life or to save the life of the mother. In cases of rape or incest, the victim has a limited number of days to report the crime to police or health officials in order to qualify for the exemption. It's 45 days for rape and 145 days for incest. And the passage of the bill was pre presented by the intense debate in both legislative chambers, while both supporters and protesters gathered at the Capitol. In the House, one Republican representative shared how he has adopted two daughters and texts their biological mother every year on their birthday, thanking her for them. While a Democratic representative emphasized she believes all Iowans deserve the same right to reproductive freedom that she's exercised in her own life. I thank her for being brave in the face of much opposition at the time of her pregnancy. She always responds with, I'm so happy she was raised by you. I have made choices about my own reproductive life, both before I was married and since. That right belongs to all Iowans, the right to decide whether to restore their menstrual cycle and, or to continue a pregnancy, whether unexpected or desperately wanted and planned for. Debate was equally intense on the Iowa Senate floor, where a Democratic senator maintained this law will place new burdens on Iowans, while a Republican senator argued it will make Iowans take responsibility for their own actions and choices. The war on women has been raging for years. It's become increasingly apparent that the state of Iowa under Republican leadership is making life for women much more difficult through the policy choices they are making. I took responsibility for my actions. His father took responsibility for his actions. It wasn't easy, it wasn't comfortable, but it was what we did at the time. It changed my life dramatically. It was not what I planned for my life, it was not how I wanted to start my family, but it's what happened after I participated in an activity that I knew could result in a pregnancy, even with precautions. And soon after the bill's passage, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds released a statement in response. She wrote, quote, Today the Iowa legislature once again voted to protect life and end abortion at a heartbeat with exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. The Iowa Supreme Court questioned whether this legislature would pass the same law they did in 2018, and today they have a clear answer. It continues, quote, as a pro-life governor, I am also committed to continuing policies to support women in planning for motherhood, promote the importance of fatherhood, and encourage strong families. Our state and country will be stronger because of it, end quote. Again, Governor Reynolds plans to sign the bill this Friday. It will take effect immediately upon signing. And pro-abortion organizations also released statements on the bill's passage. That includes Ruth Richardson, the president and CEO of Planned Parenthood North Central States. She says, quote, the abortion ban the Iowa legislature passed today is a devastating blow to reproductive freedom. My heart breaks for patients who will be denied health care for the people who cannot afford to travel out of state. This ban will widen already unacceptable health inequities. Iowans deserve to decide what's best for their bodies and futures. This is not the end of our fight for safe and legal abortion and reproductive health care. We will exhaust all options to ensure Iowans have control over their bodily autonomy now and for generations to come, end quote. The legal director for the ACLU of Iowa also released a statement saying, quote, This law is deeply cruel and callously puts the lives and health of Iowans at risk. It's appalling that the legislature has gone into special session to pass a nearly identical abortion ban to the one permanently blocked by the courts. 
In doing so, the Iowa legislature took less time to pass this law than the minimum 24-hour waiting period they require of Iowa women prior to getting abortion care. It continues, quote, Every day this law is in effect, Iowans will face life-threatening barriers to get desperately needed medical care, just as we have seen in other states with similar bans, end quote.